Hi folks, it's Mr. Hennikus, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Grammarly to improve your writing. You probably know Grammarly from the advertisements on YouTube and maybe on television, where they show someone and the person is writing something and then they use Grammarly to improve their writing. I'm going to show you how this actually works and I'm going to show you how you can use this program, because that's what it is, to actually improve your writing as if you're having language feedback from your teacher. So let's get started and let's open up Grammarly. So I'm now ready behind my computer and to use Grammarly you need an account. There are two options, there is the basic account which is free and then there is the advanced account which costs some money um, but then you get advanced features. Now what I'm going to show you now works with the basic account so you don't need to have a premium subscription to use some of the features that I'm going to show you. Now this video is not sponsored but I do have a premium subscription because I think as a language teacher, it's good to have access to such features. Um, but again, what I'm going to show you does not require this uh, premium subscription. Um, so everything I show you, you can do on the free version as well. So let's get started. So this is the opening page when I click to start a new document. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy paste one of the essays of my students and put it into Grammarly. So now I've copied and pasted it into Grammarly, I get this screen and it's asking me what my goals are. And this is very good because if you indicate what your goals are, you can get feedback based on those specific goals. So since I'm writing an essay, my audience is knowledgeable because it's my teacher or it's someone else. My formality is going to be formal because it's an essay and of course we write essays in formal English. Um, it is the academic domain which applies rules and formal writing conventions. My tone is going to be analytical because it's an essay and I'm analyzing something. And uh, my intent is to describe something. Now, this is an experimental feature which I haven't used that often, so we're going to just see how it goes. Okay, we've done our goals and this is my assignment. Now, as you can see, uh, we have lots of errors. And of course, you could go through the errors and change them. Um, but what I find more interesting is this, the overall score and the performance tab. So if you click on the overall score, it will give you a mark, which is um, 84 in this case. And it gives some statistics about your work. And I think these statistics are very useful. So we have 2600 characters or so. We have 410 words, 18 sentences. It gives reading and speaking time. But this, of course, is not very in interesting. Now what is rather interesting is this readability section where it gives information about word length, sentence length and the readability score. Um, and higher scores indicate that it is easier to read and it compares your text to the New York Times. Now what is interesting is that my sentences are above average and that my word length is about above average. And this means that I've chosen words that are more difficult probably and I've created very nice complex sentences, which is definitely something you should do to get a higher mark. Now, if I look at my vocabulary, I can see that my unique words is not that high and that my rare words also is not that high. Both are below average, which means that I need to change some words and look at different words or use synonyms throughout my text. Another thing that's very useful and I definitely want to look at is this. It says download PDF report, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, before we look at the PDF report, which is very interesting, we're going to look at the text and I'm going to show you how you can use the feedback they give you in the text to improve your writing. So here we have our feedback. We have 22 suggestions and eight correctness alerts, some things about clarity, some things about engagement, but delivery and style are good, which means that I am formal enough, which means that I don't use slang, etc. And it fits the type of writing that I'm doing, in this case, academic essay. If I look at these um, feedback points, you know, I can change them, which is good, of course, which you should do. Um, it gives me some recommendations for different words. So instead of using negative, I could use adverse. So one thing I would definitely recommend you to do is if you use Grammarly in this way and you look at the mistakes, is to actually read what it says. So if we look at punctuation in this case, there is a comma missing in front of which. Now, if I just want to change it, I can click on which and it will add the comma. But if I want to learn, I want to change my writing, I need to click on the learn more tab. And if you click on learn more, you get some information related to this topic. Now, what do we see? 
we see that we get some information regarding commas. There is some explanation, there are some correct and incorrect examples, and this is of course very useful, because using this information, I can think about these things when I'm ready to write a new essay. In this case, I'm just going to change it. Let's look at another example. Here we have the word near native, and we see that the noun phrase near native understanding seems to be missing a determiner. So if I want to learn more about determiners, I click learn more, and I get some information regarding determiners. Um, it gives some incorrect and correct examples, and again, if I focus on these topics in my next writing, I can avoid these mistakes. So in this case, I'll want to change it, a uh, near native understanding. Now let's look at the report, because that is the most interesting thing to look at. Now here's my report card. It is entitled, because I didn't give my essay a title, and it gives the same information that I was able to find in the performance tab. Characters, words, sentences, reading time and speaking time. There is a score, there are some issues, and it hasn't been checked on plagiarism. If I were to do that, I would get some information regarding plagiarism. Now using the plagiarism information requires a subscription, so this is not part of the basic and free Grammarly experience. Now this is the part where I would say that language learners should pay most attention to. There are some issues regarding engagement, clarity and correctness. And I think if you are a new learner of English and you need to improve your writing at some basic levels, focus on the correctness things. Here we have a faulty tense sequence. There is punctuation in complex and compound sentences. There is faulty subject-verb agreement. Some issues with determiners, some issues with pronouns, and there's one word that is misspelled. Now, this is again the part I would look at most if I were a language learner. And this is the part I point my students to as well. Focus on these mistakes in your next writing assignment, and then you can have a look whether Grammarly corrects them and whether Grammarly gives you more feedback regarding these issues. You could also look at your words to increase the number of unique and rare words you use. You could do something with the word and sentence length if you want to. And if you look at the rest of the reports, you get a detailed description of all the mistakes, and this is very useful. Again, use this as a tool to improve your writing, and I definitely recommend you to have a look at all of these things that Grammarly offers. So that's basically it, and that is how you can use Grammarly as your personal language teacher. I would say use the recommendations that Grammarly gives you in your essay, and try to avoid these mistakes when you're writing a new essay or when you're writing something again. This is what I always tell my own students. Look at the report, see what type of mistakes you're making, and try to avoid them in your next writing. I think if you do this correctly, and if you actually take some time to look at the recommendations and the things Grammarly explains, you can really improve your writing drastically. Let me know in the comments. What kind of tool do you use to improve your writing? If you found this useful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to know more ways to improve your writing, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos.